Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be going over one of the best setups you can use. It focuses heavily on stance breaking for crit shots, lots of upfront physical damage, and then bleed buildups for both extra damage and buffs afterwards. I tested this build out on all the bosses in New Game Plus, and I can confirm it kills everything, and this is also without using a summoning. So, if you want to use that with this setup, you can get through the entire game without stressing out in the slightest bit. And before I get into the build, I want to thank the sponsors of today's video, DamnMods.com. They'll get tons of runes for you, just allowing you to max out your character extremely quickly without having to put in vigorous amounts of hours getting them yourself, because we all know how tedious that can be. They work on all platforms, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. They're also trusted by thousands of users on Trustpilot with a 5 star rating and over 6 years of experience. Links will be in the description down below. You can also use the code DIVINE for up to $100 off on your purchases. Again, thanks damn mods for sponsoring the video. So with that said, let's dive into it. Starting off with the stats, the bare minimum needed is 12 strength, 8 dexterity, and 20 endurance to be able to use the weapon and fast roll. You don't need 20 endurance depending on what type of armor you use, but I wanted something a little bit heavier for extra protection, and also heavier armor just looks a lot nicer, but anyways. After getting the bare minimum needed, I would focus majority of my points into strength and vigor to balance out my health and physical damage. I found 45 vigor to be a pretty good amount of health to play around with. Obviously, if you want more or less, that's completely up to you and how confident you feel with with not getting hit. And then maxing out at 80 strength, because if you put any more levels past that, you hardly get any extra damage on the weapon, so it's just not worth it at that point. And lastly, grabbing around 51 arcane to increase the amount of bleed buildup our weapon has. This is going to allow us to proc a blood loss in 2 to 4 hits consistently, which again is going to do a lot of damage itself and then gives us increased damage afterwards. Arcane is going to be the last thing you focus on since it's not our main source of damage, more of a really nice bonus you get later on. And if you want to copy my stats exactly, you'll need to start off with the hero class. If you're using anything else, you may have to sacrifice some points from vigor, strength, and arcane to balance it out. But to be honest, it's not going to be that big of an issue. Continuing on with the build, we have the main weapon to use, and that's the Star Fist. The attack power on it's nothing too special, and if anything, it's kind of on the low end when you compare it to some of the other stronger weapons in the game, but the Star Fist do something a lot of the other weapons can't do, and that's instantly throw out a fully charged heavy attack. With most weapons, your character takes a few seconds to fully charge up the attack before swinging and because of that it's often hard to land these attacks on bosses or regular enemies in the game let alone do it twice in a row now you're probably thinking that's not really a big issue because you can just do a light attack and still get around similar amounts of damage that is true but you do miss out on a big thing from heavy attacks and that's the added stance damage you get on top of the regular damage the stance damage is what brings enemies to their knees so you can get off crit shots for a lot of free damage and since the star fist can do charged up heavy attacks really quickly sometimes even being fast enough to to do two fully charged heavy attacks back to back, depending on the guy you're fighting, you can maximize the increased damage and stance damage effect from charged heavy attacks really nicely. And if you can't get your hands on the Star Fist, the next best thing is the Iron Ball, basically the same thing with a tiny bit less damage, and I think you can get this one earlier on in the game. Now, since we're doing charged heavy attacks against everyone we come across, it only made sense to throw on the Axe Talisman to increase the damage of charged heavy attacks by 10%. And in addition to that, because charged heavy attacks can break people's guards very quickly, quickly, I also equipped a dagger talisman to increase my crit damage by 17%. These two talismans combo really well with this setup because they're always going to be put to use against anyone you come across. Getting back to the weapon, there's two more things to it. When it comes to the affinity to place on it, you're going to want to use the blood option. Very similar to a black knight build I made earlier, it gives the weapon a B skilling and strength so you can still get some decent physical damage out of it, but it also adds 110 bleed build up to it once you've reached my level and maxed it out. If you use the strength affinity on it, you only get an extra 30 physical damage, which I don't think is worth it at all when you're also losing out on an extra 65 bleed buildup. Like, I can proc a blood loss in 2 to 4 hits, and that's going to do a lot more damage than the extra 30 attack power I get with the heavy affinity. It is worth to note that when you do come up against a few bosses that are immune to bleed buildups, you can switch it to the heavy affinity in that moment for some extra damage. But in general, use the blood option. And because we can proc bleed buildups pretty fast, I'm also using the Lord of Blood's Exultation Talisman to give me an extra 20% damage buff whenever a blood loss happens near me for 20 seconds. You could also use the white mask to get an additional 10% buff on top of the talisman, but this build was so strong I didn't care too much to throw that in and rather went for a more aesthetic look instead. Still, if you want more damage, the white mask is an easy way to increase it. And finally for the weapon, the best Ash of War to use for it is Cragblade. It buffs the weapon by increasing its physical damage by 15% and stance damage by 10% for 60 seconds. Both of those buffs go hand in hand with this setup, there's not a better option for this. Another thing I do to increase this build's damage is with the Flask of Wondrous 
Physic. I'm using the Thorny and Spiked Crack tiers. The Spiked one increases my charged up heavy attacks damage by 20% for 3 minutes. Same thing as the Axe Talisman and the Thorny one that increases my damage with rapid attacks. The Thorny one's not too important so if you want to throw something else in there you can and it won't make a huge impact on the setup. And lastly for the armor, I have the full Beast Champion set equipped with the Great Helm for my headpiece. You could use the White Mask for a damage buff, but again, I didn't care for it, rather have the look instead of functionality here. If you choose not to go with the Beast Champion set, it's best to use any type of heavy armor to increase your protection since the weapon we're using is really light and you won't end up putting too many points into Endurance to wear something heavy. And to make this even easier, I am using the Urtree's Favor Plus 2 Talisman that increases my maximum health, stamina, and equip load by a bit. You could use any Talisman for the fourth slot, there's nothing that's really going to stand out or make a huge impact on the build. So, in the end, the way you use this setup is very simple. Throw out as many charged up heavy attacks as you can, even doing a halfway charged up heavy attack is going to be really effective, just play the game as if you didn't have the option to do a light attack. And with the Flask of Wondrous Physic and the Ash of War, I would only use them during boss fights, but the Ash of War doesn't consume that much mana, and the Flask can be infinitely refilled at every site of grace, so you can freely use them whenever you want, to be honest. Now I'm just going to show you guys some gameplay of this build again against bosses to really show you guys its full potential. Well, drop a like and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See ya! return.